to be surrounded by 2,000 people that understand, it's, it's amazing. Throughout the years in high school, I struggled with my own um, issues with suicide and depression. I've been there and I know what it's like. Um, and thankfully I've been able to come out the other side and learn that there's a better way to live my life. I struggled with depression and self-injury for uh, 10 years. Just my way of taking a stand and saying that I'm not ashamed of what I went through and I just feel like from here things can only get better. There is nowhere else where you will be around as many survivors, as many people who understand what you're going through, but at the same time we can encourage each other and let each other know that we're not alone. walk from my mom so I feel closer to her and it just brings me a little bit of peace knowing that you're here with other people and you're helping them and supporting them it's a good thing my son was the kid that everybody went to with their problems and when this happened, they all felt that they fell short in, in providing help to him, which is not the case. They are the next generation to really take the stigma out of suicide and help awareness and making people feel there are resources available. without AFSP and without having all of these people surrounding me. It's a time to smile and laugh and remember memories about people and, and get to surround people with just tons of love. You know, I never got a chance to sit and talk about it and share my feelings and really cry over it. So this is a really big healing process for me and I'm excited. feel the way I felt, which is um, I want to do something and I, I want to believe that there's something that can be done about this, you should definitely come because I think you'll gain so much, so much from this experience.